The first version of this urban legend is the closest to the truth. In the 1850s, a gypsy man and his mother murdered a local shopkeeper, but he was the only one hanged for the crime. During his execution, his mother screamed that the town would burn down three times. The second and most fantastical version goes that in the 1800s, a woman was accused of being a witch. When she was hanged for her crimes, she cursed the town, and like the other version, the town would burn down three times. But unlike the other version, it is said that the witch haunts the cemetery where she was killed to this very day. Now for the true story. In 1885, a man named Richard Marple moved to Lafayette from Corvallis with his mother Anna and his wife Julia. In 1886, Anna started seeing a local store owner named David Corker. Richard couldn't hold down a steady job, so he became a robber instead. He was suspected of committing multiple robberies in Lafayette. So when David Corker was found hacked to death with an axe and his store raided, police naturally thought of Richard. The sheriff arrested Richard and brought him in for questioning. He denied everything and he also spoke of David defaming him. Police searched his home and found a bloody paper, a bloody shirt, and tools often used by robbers. When confronted with this evidence, Richard claimed that the sheriff planted everything to frame him. Anna had been charged with being an accomplice, but the charges were dropped due to a lack of evidence. At his trial, Julia and Anna testified that Richard was nowhere near David's store that day. Despite their testimony, Richard was found guilty of first-degree murder on April 9, 1887. Supposedly, while awaiting his execution, Richard confessed to a fellow inmate that he had murdered David, and that the only reason his mother cozied up to David was to gain his trust. On November 11, 1887, Richard was taken to the gallows. When the customary black hood was placed over his head, he yelled, Murder! May God judge you all! Instead of breaking his neck when the trap door was released, Richard slowly strangled for 18 minutes. While her son was strangling, Anna yelled that Lafayette would burn and never prosper. Shortly after her son's execution, Anna moved to Jackson County where she lived until her death. The first fire in Lafayette took place in 1895. It destroyed a general merchandise store, a doctor's office, a grocery store, and a tin shop. The second fire took place just two years later in 1897. A post office, a drugstore, a candy shop, and a butcher shop all burned to the ground. The third fire happened the next year in 1898. A flour mill and a grain elevator containing 5,000 bushels of wheat burned. A fire in 1904 was the largest. It destroyed a total of 16 buildings. In 1914, there were two fires on the same night, but both were believed to be caused by arson. There were two more large fires, one in 1928 and the other in 1946. Do you believe that these fires were caused by a mother's curse? Or was it all just a coincidence? Let me know what you think down in the comments below. Do not forget to leave a like and subscribe if you have enjoyed this video. And if you already have, thank you very much. La, la.